Joining me now is Mark Busty, the director of Industrial Brand. And what's your take? I, this is We've heard so much about this movie over the past couple of weeks. From a marketing perspective, it seems like you know, it's actually working quite well for them. It's brilliant. It's a gift from God, really, in many ways, right? I mean, the, there's a term used in the PR circles where the problem becomes the play. And I think what's happened here is they've looked at different distribution models, digital being a huge one that we're now seeing being very profitable for them, but a crisis, a PR crisis happening for this company. And they've said, well, hold on. Can we turn one into the other and find a way to distract away from that one conversation? release in a new platform, and now we're seeing magic. This is an incredible moment for them, and it's a really a mediocre film. Yeah, well, and, that, and that's what we're hearing a lot, too. The reviews aren't very positive, yet it still made a significant amount of money this weekend, and a lot of it has to do with that digital release. Do you think that's a strategy we might be seeing more of in the future? Absolutely. Uh, I'm in the business, and I should know better, but I must admit that this was the first time that I followed a link to a YouTube page for this film, where Sony had created YouTube as their rental platform. Right. And I'd never seen that before. I'm like, wait, I can pay six bucks watch and I can YouTube. watch it on YouTube and it's not even in the theaters yet, which is really where you should be seeing the film, but that is the new, that's the new world we live in. That's pretty amazing. I'm, I'm, I'm impressed and, and kudos to them for pulling that off. There are some people out there who are, who are skeptical of how all of this has played out and think it may, this whole North Korea threats, yeah. hacking thing may have been just a brilliant marketing tactic. Do you that's think nonsense. anyone would go no, that far? No, no, that's a canard from what's really going on. It's a distraction. The reality is they were violated. Uh, this is a terrible example of the power of, of digital vulnerability or the risk of digital vulnerability. There is no way Sony would have made a, done a PR stunt like this to promote a film, a stoner film. They wouldn't have done it. Right. Uh, so that's why I say it's a gift from God. This is an amazing opportunity. They've really turned this around. But yeah, I, I think it's been done before. These sort of antics and manipulative media plays will be done in the future. And um, I don't know, just good for good for Sony for finding a positive in a they made some very tasty lemonade from from some very spoiled lemonade lemons. <laughs> All right, thanks very much. You're welcome.